Oh, I'm not about to get a mug shot. Um, I just have frizzy hair. Hey guys and welcome back. So in today's video we are going to deal with some frizzy hair. So if you want to find out how to get your hair frizz free then please keep watching. Now this DIY that I'm going to show you guys is actually ideal for people with naturally curly hair or wavy hair and then of course people with um, dry hair. Now in my case my hair is extremely dry because it's turning summer so of course my hair is now going to start losing its moisture. Now as you guys already know the main factors or causes of frizzy hair is of course your hair is starting to lose its moisture or it's very dry or it's damaged or it is humid outside because it is summer and that is why my hair is feeling the way it's feeling. Just to give you guys an idea, this is how my hair currently looks like. So you see there's extreme frizz, especially at the ends. So the first ingredient for this DIY is actually going to be mayonnaise, which is classified as an oil. It is primarily consists of canola or soybean oil, along with egg yolks, vinegar and lemon juice. And some brands may even have a few additional ingredients such as olive oil and Dijon mustard. The next ingredient that we're going to use is a sweet almond oil which has high levels of protein, omega-9 fatty acids and vitamin E and it gives your hair a smoother and softer texture over time. So to start off the hair mask I'm going to use two tablespoons of mayonnaise but the proportions is all up to you. Now one of the best thing about our mayonnaise is it reduces hair frizz and it increases moisture in your hair. Then I'm going to use about a teaspoon of sweet almond oil in this mixture and then I'm just going to stir it and mix it in together until I basically just see mayonnaise. So this is how it looks if it's mixed well together, you basically can't see the oil anymore. And now it's basically ready to be put on my hair. Now I'm going to start by separating my hair in two. It's just going to make it much easier. And I'm going to comb through my hair to make sure there is no tangles. I'm really upset at the fact that my hair is very frizzy, as you guys can see, obviously. I also have a lot of flower waste, thanks to the humidity. Now what you want to do is you actually just want to dampen your hair a little bit to help tame the current frizz and it's just going to make it much easier to apply the mayonnaise because the mayonnaise is going to be a, a thick paste and on dry hair it is very difficult to apply. Now I'm going to start applying the mayonnaise starting from the ends which I need the most moisture. I don't really want to apply it on my roots because I usually get oily roots and dry ends so I don't really want to um, moisturize my roots as well that way it's going to start producing a lot more sebum and I'm going to get oily scalp and I try to avoid that so I'm going if I'm going to apply it I'm only going to apply a teeny tiny bit and I'm not going to apply it directly onto my roots Once I've finished applying the mask onto my hair, I'm basically just going to put my hair up and I'm going to leave it on for about one to two hours and once that is done, I'm basically just going to wash my hair with normal shampoo and conditioner. So guys, this here is the result after I've washed and air dried my hair. I'm extremely happy and I can promise you that you're also going to be very happy. Now it is however going to last for a few days or until your next hair wash day. So if you do not use this mask with your next hair wash day, it is going to go back to its frizzy state. But for now, I 
I'm happy. So this is the result of the hair mask. I am super happy with the results, especially at the ends. And looking at it side by side, you can clearly see there's a massive difference. So that is it for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Now if you guys want to see more of my videos then please do subscribe to my channel and if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up. It does help a lot. And then of course if you've got any recommendations or any hair mask that you want me to try too, please do leave it down in the comments down below. Um, I do try my best to respond to each and every comment. And then the last thing that I just want to let you guys know is I do have something planned for you guys as well, not just for myself. So I really need you guys to keep on watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!